Oh yeah, stadium is, we, were, we already have had a pre-opening uh, a week ago Saturday. Uh -huh. So yeah, we'll be ready. Not everything will be done, or that'll be a, if anybody that's built a house or done any of that, they know you keep finishing things as goes, but we'll be ready on the 27th. What message would you would you send to the community in regards about the state of emergency and the like the access to get here and like we've been working with the city now for months actually years on getting people in and out um, I think that you can feel as safe as you can feel in anywhere in the, in the Delaware Valley we've taken as many precautions part of it's the world we live in but we plan to have a great safe event and everybody that's planning on coming should come on out how many people are you expecting? Well, it holds 18,500, so I think we're 18,500. Mm -hmm. If they go to our website, there'll be directions, and, and people that bought tickets have gotten emails and things of that nature. But if you go to PhiladelphiaUnion.com. Philadelphia is a, is a great melting pot like uh, the rest of our country, so we'll have Hispanic fans, we'll have European fans, and we'll have South American fans, and we'll have, you know, it's one big party. It's uh, We don't section everybody off by different groups. With, you're a union supporter, and everybody will come and have a good time. And what's your prediction for the results? Like the I predict we're going to win every game. We'll see how right I am. And how was the fan feedback after Saturday's event? It was excellent. Uh, people loved it. I had people coming up and shaking my hand and thanking me. And it wasn't me, but a lot of people that put it together. And it's good. And look, hey, we're fully, it's, we're opening a new building for the first time. There's going to be stuff where we should have put a handle here and it didn't get put. And there's a seat turned that should be a different way. So we're going to talk to our fans again about giving us a lot of feedback after the first game and telling us, hey, this worked or this didn't work. This is this is a beginning, not an ending, when we get on the 27th. So we'll, I think over the next year, you'll see a lot of tweaking and stuff, because when you build anything, a lot of times things look great on paper and they look great in theory, and then when you put them in play, you're like, oh, what, what the hell were we thinking? <laughs>